I don't know if it's because I'm used to the size of our RV, but this yurt feels ridiculously spacious. Let's yeah. go inside. <laughs> like a spotlight on me here. Is it too bright? Oh, it's okay. So okay. we have a lot to get done this morning because we're leaving the RV and staying on purpose On purpose, and going to stay somewhere else. We're going to go stay in some yurts at the state park, the Goblin Valley State Park. We're going to go and look at the stars and hiking and going in some narrows. So that sounds really fun, right? Because yeah. it sounded really well, fun when we booked it. But what we didn't think of, people are rocking out there, sorry, is that we have to pack. And we haven't packed in a long time because, you know, we don't have to pack. We just take our house with us. Um, Actually, because if this is your first time here, we have nine kids and we travel full time in our RV. Is the microphone on? Yeah. Awesome. So we have to pack. We have to bring clothes, which is fine, and toothbrushes, but we also have to bring our bedding. So and our food. So mom's just instead. I've been watching dance scenes from Footloose and teaching the kids my favorite moves. Like, um, Asher asked then after we watched some of those dance scenes if we could install some ropes and chains hanging from yeah. the ceiling of the RV. Not like chains, like ropes. So that he could Swing dance around. better, you know. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta get going. What time is it? Ten thirty. Yeah, we were planning on being out of here just after noon. Not gonna. Well, after lunch. I'm. Uh, right, we're gonna. Yeah. What should we do first? It's a lot to do. I thought it might be nice to get all the food stuff figured out first, because that's like, you in mean my like mind, pack the food. Everything related to the food, like utensils, oh, plates. plates, cups, oh, anything oh, we need for cooking. You'll help. Okay. So Mom, I, just little, I just a little sweaty from back. dancing. Yeah. Just when I was a kid, sweaty. my brother Spencer and I would turn on Footloose on a Friday night. Parents are gone, and just dance like crazy turn on the movie dance your and like during out. the dance scene i remember like leaping off of couches and feeling like the coolest person that ever existed you're right so i wish i could go back in the time machine and watch my childhood self dance my heart out do you have a video nope no videos we didn't have youtube then no like you just put on a video of you doing it no that would have been awesome though anyways i've got to get to it eating on this trip is we're gonna have hamburgers tonight we're gonna have breakfast tomorrow with my parents the chips they're up there um, we're gonna have uh, I think grant my dad and mom are gonna make us like pancakes and eggs and stuff uh, from their trailer which would be pretty awesome and then on Tuesday tomorrow night or tomorrow at lunch we're making sandwiches so Pretty exciting, huh? They're watching. What are you guys learning about here? What are you learning about, Pete? Fascinating. Okay. Elijah is working on his video. I I just got There's no one back here. Hey, Asher, I was wrong. You were right. I accidentally got bacon flavored Ritz. Hasher was like, there's something mm. wrong with these Ritz. I'm like, no, it's not just eat them. Shut up. I'm like, they're the same Ritz no. we have all the time. They also got a whole wheat Ritz. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Somewhere where you get lost in like forest. Thank you. Instead of eating all your friends, you eat his arm or leg because, you know, you don't kill them. No, it's wrong to eat humans. But if you're trapped and you really need it, then you die. His arm or leg. No, you die. You don't eat humans. <laughs> that's actually one of the that's been a big political topic who, who supports eating humans and who doesn't I'd say death is not the worst thing that can happen to you but when you're eating your friends that's worse that might be worse than death okay we also got to eat lunch today oh you did leftovers leftover lasagna soup 
Leftover, Leftover white bean chili. Leftover crackers. Jinx, you owe me a cracker. Oh. But we didn't say you okay. owe me soda. I want all the stuff outside, okay, Pete? Yeah, that's your thing. This is the point in the process where Dad Andrew? goes a little crazy. And gentle, kind, happy Dad leaves. You know like that book Miss Nelson is missing? Mr. What's Nor that? Is missing. Who? Mr. North, you know, Miss Nelson is missing. Oh. Hey, okay, what are you doing? I'm doing annotation. Did you get your bedding already? Yeah. Did you write your name okay. on your bag? Andrew? No. Dude. Okay. I'm the only one with the police plane. Thanks, Evan. Or, yeah, let me, I'll just do this. It'll take a I hope it's fun tonight. <laughs> hey, look, I got a t-shirt. We haven't been buying t-shirts everywhere we go, but... We went out to dinner like a week ago, and there was this family there. Six kids, which looked enormous. I thought they had like as many kids as us, but they have three less. And they all had on like shirts from different places, and I was kind of jealous. I'm like, oh, that looks fun. Uh, we can't... I have a shirt too. Look, 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 look. Shirt. Yep. We can't really do that because we don't have room, but I did like this Green Canyon land, so. Yeah, we got it. No, we're not doing putting them in the back yet because we have to do a bag check. Peter, did you put yours in the back? I know that you think you're gonna make it without a bag check, but I don't want a bag check. Why? I have everything. I then a bag check should be easy. Then he's secretly hiding no. like weapons. Is Dad is saying that we have to have a bag check. We I don't think it's to. super necessary, yeah. but Dad wants that bag check. Bag Dad check. that bag check. I what, have hey, what happened to the laundry ba basket that should be in their room? I don't know. Here's our stuff. Um, I gotta put my pajamas in there. We also gotta get our bed. So, Peter, let's make sure everything is cleaned up down here. Pearl. Why? Because I want it to be clean when we leave. That's why. Da Andrew and Daniel, can you make sure it's clean back here? Well, I have outside. Okay. Then you do outside. Who doesn't have one? I have one. Okay, Andrew, can you make sure? Daniel, can you make sure it's clean back there? Elijah, can you do the same for me? Okay, okay, what's going on? We are going to put in these boxes first, and then we're going to individually put these in after the kids have cleared the list with me. Okay, and we're going to go through this checklist, make sure you have it, okay? Have you got your bedding? Don't come in. You got a sheet and blankets? Mm-hmm. You got your yeah. pajamas? Yeah, I'm going to too. Okay, you got a toothbrush? You got to change a shirt? You got a sweatshirt? Wait, do we need to? Water bottle? So if you've been that watching was, our channel, you'll know fun. that we have been planning to come here for about a month. And um, not only to see Goblin Valley, which is really cool, but for one other reason, and that was to see the stars. Because this is one of the darkest places in the United States. Only thing is, there's no moon, so we should be able to, except look. Do you notice anything about the sky? There's clouds. Oh no. Okay, oh, they've got some good stickers in there, but I wanted you to pick it. Oh, okay, so we're hoping that by tonight the clouds clear out enough yeah. that we can see things. <laughs> Look, Valley of Goblins. Yeah. One's back there. They look teenier than they are, though, and one's right here. Pretty cool spot, huh? We can't. Elijah's having 
Yeah, you can climb around to this. Bump, <laughs> and I freak out. Like, Woo! Okay, everyone's gonna grab your stuff. Okay, yeah, older ones go to the back one. Oh. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the size of our RV, but this yurt feels ridiculously spacious. Let's go inside. I need to get me a yurt. This is where Mike and I are going to sleep. There's the furnace. There's the table. There's tons and tons and tons of floor space. And then there's a queen bed and a twin. Nope. And there's dad. Hi. So I am so used to the RV that this feels enormous. What's that? I'm so used to the size of the RV that this feels enormous. Oh, it's awesome. Here's the view from our yurt. The actual goblins of Goblin Valley are just down the road. Okay, get your shoes on so we can go see them. Hi, Andrew! Is it easy to get up there? No. Okay, well, be careful. Okay, don't go near the edges. I want everybody to come down then. I was telling Mike last night how flat places. I grew up where there were no hills. Sounds uber relaxing. I'm kind of tired of all the cliffs and sheer edges and overlooks and I look forward to going to flat earth. <laughs> all right, so let's go to the older kids. They're staying 100 yards away in this other yurt. The other yurt for so, the So, I mean, kids. Gum Valley is like right there. Yeah. We should go hike around once we get everything settled. Cool little cove back here. Cool over here. It's like a kid's dreamland. So, they must have just climbed up there. I wish there were two nights in a row. I know. Enjoy the space. That needs to be shook out. Uh. No. I don't remember it. Kids locked it. It's on the van. The kids are somewhere back here in this maze. I see Andrew. There's Pearl. It's quiet back here. And there's Esther. What are you doing that mom's not gonna wanna see, Andrew? Huh, what were you doing? What, me? Yeah, that Pearl didn't think mom would wanna see. Oh, after she gonna, walks down? Uh, so you were coming uh, and I hit you. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mom. Where's Elijah? Oh, he's up there. When I was walking up, I felt like I was in the staircase in Lord of the Rings. You know, they walk up the side of the mountain. Mount Doom? Yeah. <laughs> Cause it was like a rock staircase. Well, it wasn't, but it was a real staircase. I used it. Elijah, you guys locked the yurt. Do you know the code? Um, you told us it. Yeah, but if you don't know the code, you might not want to lock it. Uh, Daniel knows know it. oh, it's the code. Okay, well, where is Daniel? Uh, he's on the other side. That wasn't a very good plan, huh? Why is it green? It must be just the different um, makeup of the the sand that was yeah, here. No, I saw you. It's really interesting looking, isn't it? I know, for a long way. Okay, so there's a country called Mongolia where they live in these. And they travel, just like we travel in our RV, but they bring their tent with them with horses. So they push it all together and take down all the wrappings and then they go to a new place. Pretty cool, huh? And they just put their rugs all over the floor, on the, over the dirt. And it's really cool, huh? And then they can open this up so they can have a fire in the middle and cook. There's really beautiful yurts out there. And someday, when we go to Mongolia, We'll stay in a yurt. Grandma and Grandpa brought their RV and just rode over yeah. on their bikes. Hello! You found your yurt. Yes. Home sweet home for the night. Yes. Yeah, they're super big feeling after a, an RV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. You wanna Not kinda... bad. There's all this... There's a lot of area back here for the kids to play around and even... I don't know oh, where they're at. Can you give me a hug? Give me a shake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a hog, you silly. Dude, Here you go. we need to get ourselves a yurt. 
Yerdy. It feels amazing in there. But now we're going to head over to Goblin Valley. If you don't know what Goblin Valley is, you probably do. Because you've seen it in movies. You don't. Or in you photos. <laughs> you probably actually do. Um, if you've seen Galaxy Quest, remember the part where they go to that alien planet and they fight like a rock monster? That's If you Goblin haven't Valley. seen Galaxy Quest, you need to see it. That's a good it's... movie. And Mom. then, um, it's. I'm sure if you've seen Star Trek, or there's probably oh. used in lots of movies. Because it's so... It looks like Mars. Alien looking. looking. It looks like an alien planet. So we're gonna head over there. It's like one or mile away. It looks like a goblin planet. Hence the name. There's a fly in here. Oh, that feels so good when you actually get a fly everybody. to get out of the car. Come on. I'm Come on, everybody. What's up with their tongue? Feels really nice outside, doesn't it? There on those rocks? Look. Look. Yeah. Whoa. All of it. It's all of it. That looks fun, you can huh? Go down there, I think. Does it look fun to go play in there? Mom, you can go down there. I know. Goblin Valley. You're not going to tell me? Where is she at? Go, Mom. You went with Mommy? Yes. Mom, Mom, we can, Mom. We can play in sardines. Mom. Sardines, that's this good. This is the perfect place to play. Oh, you're right. Mom, good hiding hand. spots okay. here. We'll, we can play one more round. Who found her first? I mean him. Okay, Elijah. So we'll all stay right here. One more round. You go. Okay. We're going to give you 20 seconds this time. Don't go past the river. Wait, can I start like out there? So yeah, you can start out there. Mom. Don't go past these rocks around here. Okay? Start the ground. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, eight one thousand. Ready or not, here we go! Super fun. You could play here for days, or we thought it'd be super fun to come with older kids or just adults and flashlights and play hide and seek at night. No, capture the flag. Capture the flag. I only fell like 83,000 times while running. <laughs> Pretty incredible place, huh, S? Yeah. Or Peter? <laughs> or Esther? <laughs> All right, let's go back and have a barbecue. Look, there's another duck. Grammy and Grandpa, that does look like a duck. <laughs> hey, who wants to go have a barbecue? I want to eat a duck. Come on, let's go.